Well, hello everyone, and here with another Throwback Thursday review. And the rotation leads us to a Star Wars review, and today's of which is the uh, Republic Cruiser set from 2007. So, on the front of each booklet, see that uh, 30th anniversary border, and the set in action above Naboo, and also set number 7665, and yeah. On the back of the first booklet, add for is add for some of the like other 2007 summer sets and on the back and of the second one same ad then add for lego club add for winning on the online survey add for the star wars complete saga game and add for the some or commercial poster of the sets there and Big large ad of some of the other 2007 sets. And again, same thing with the like first battle packs, of course. And then add a couple of features, and again, and the pieces that come with the set, of course, and the last steps. So first of which, first for the mini case, is a uh, Padawan version Obi-Wan Kenobi. Which is torso print and face print, which is kind of similar to the like 1999 ones. But, but at this time now with the flesh color. And no back torso prints because it's an older figure. And one of the first times of having the like, Done great lightsaber, which must have carried on from 2006, I think. And also, also you get a uh, oh, uh, Qui Gon Jinn. Also, kind of same torso print and everything, but the face print of which also similar to that of in 1999, but also in this set you get an alternate uh, uh, headpiece to swap out with uh, according to Bricklink and no back torso print also so, yeah. next is a Republic officer see so, with the simple dots as pupils uh, effect uh, that they've had for quite some time well at least until well at this time in Star Wars is that they kept up until the 10th anniversary sets in 2009, of course. And those with his front torso print done quite nicely. And no back torso print since it's an older figure. And hairpiece that also been used for a long time. And next is Republic uh, like, uh, Pilot, yeah. Same torso print, same face print and everything, but cap piece just like what most old time town cops had and that is about it there and lastly is R5D7 which prints of which same as the uh, 1999 R2D2 and at least until in 2009 when they updated most of the astromech droids but done quite nicely but the print client's slant which is a common trend with these older droids. And I think that is it with all of our mini things. Now, on to the Republic Cruiser itself. This is which is uh, pretty cool for them. See, quite massive for it. But also, kind of similar to the Tantit 4 set from 2009, but more on that later. So, it's the front area, which is kind of large, thick, and blocky. Although, you have a little uh, rod with a dish piece on it. And also, can like, of course. Can, like, flip this open. And you see that little control panel. But also to note, this set quite fragile. The same tile piece that that they used for a long time. 
and then that's a place to fit your uh, pilot, meaning config into a force. And also you get the this like little cylinder or container with the same pieces as the template for set, but you'll see what it'll do in a bit. But some good sloping or curve sloping around. And then also some as for this top part, which has some already grateful detail with the plates and acting out probably the whole things together and you wonder what these little pins are for, which you'll which again I'll talk about in a minute and on the sides of which just very slight bit of detailing of course and what that rod sticking out for is where you can push it and these things uh, or shooters launch out but they don't shoot anything of course but as for this back area I would have a couple of uh, satellite dishes but if you like turn this yellow gear on the bottom makes it uh, spin around so they can communicate with other parts of the galaxy but as for the back engines of which which is the most iconic view of it in the movie which do you have just a single uh, clear red uh, piece in there and a lot of the like big cylinder pieces of course and as for the top you have a, a large amount of plates used for that and as for this other side of it which a bit more detail have some more dishes and also another thing to for communication and kind of useless uh thin probably for flight purposes so to all the feet also underneath it have these like technic beams that have these little little bracket plates sticking out but you can like fold them up like that kind of like what some other sets did later on now there's plenty of features with this where you can like pull on these and hold this and make the whole thing come right off and as for this interior detail so you have a couple of jumpers to fit your astromech droid figure on to all of these legs can go a little loose and also enough space to fit your Republic mini big on too as well. And now for this other side of which, which does have this little uh, standalone little thing. Although it looks kind of like a mini A wing, you know, so probably for flying around it, and also this little crate. Or that is just a pair of little things to hold a blaster in, of course, and a couple astromech droid arms, probably for some stabilization. And just look, put this back on, just put it, slide it on down, which with these slopes are for, of course. And if you probably noticed, like the little tan piece here where you can push that in and makes this pod drop down and you can like pull it open and notice the couple of blue chairs of which is where you can sit your Jedi Knights in even though that kind of doesn't at all happen in the movie Let me get this stuff. and now how you like get it back on if I can position it right? So you just do so again and make sure these holes line up with the pins in that one slot. And there, there you go. Then it's all set and ready to fly off of Coruscant and off to Naboo.
So as for a little comparison is with the Dancer Force set from 2009. You can see it does stand a little bit higher than it in a horse. Same pieces for both of them. Although it does also have the accessibility feature, but it's also three big large engines than all of these small little ones. But you know, it's probably what helped to get some inspiration for that. But of course, this was from episode one, and this episode four, and Rogue One. But you know, it helps. Me. Oh, get some things that are a little alike, of course. And so now, on to with the final verdict. And overall, I think this is a uh, pretty good set for the time of its release in 2007. Which helpful of the 30th anniversary of it. In a, even though it's mostly just in the opening sequence of episode 1 and also do you get an alright selection of minifigs of course and but also this can well work with any Coruscant mock if you want and if you so if you still have access to this or I mean still have this from back in the day well I hope you had some good memories of it. Oh, and also, one of the only times of ever having this set. And hopefully, with Clone Wars being rehashed, I hope they redo this. This one, but who knows. But anyways, if you still have this set from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of it. And for those of you who haven't, then yeah, good luck getting...